Hi guys, welcome to 5 Movies in 5 Minutes. I'm your host Jamal Stone. And I'm Sammy D. Simone. And today we're going to talk about our top 5 picks of movies coming out this week in 5 Minutes. But there's so many movies coming out. How are we going to narrow it down to 5? Sammy, you're here. Just stay tuned. What's you knowing about? It is about a guy who's a knight in shining armor, except he lives in a world. First up, we have The Equalizer, starring Denzel Washington. This movie's about Denzel equalizing stuff, making people who do bad things pay for their sins. Oh, yeah. They, he is blowing everyone up. He's blowing cars up. Mm -hmm. He's blowing mafia mm -hmm. up. We don't even know. Two minutes of a trailer, one minute, 30 seconds, pure explosions. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. I cannot wait. This is from the same director who did Training Day, so you know it's going to be... Awesome. Denzel's a badass. He's badass. He's always badass. And yeah. what do we want to pay to see? A badass on screen. Take my money. Oh, yeah. Beastly creatures roam the night. Box Trolls. Box Trolls. Next up, we have The Box Trolls, a stop animation film which is not directed by Tim Burton, but still guaranteed to be fun for all friends and family of all ages. Yeah, this movie's about a little boy who gets lost. The box trolls find him, they go on all kinds of adventures trying to avoid other humans. And Great. you need to know if the little boy is going to save the day and save the box trolls from everybody. So it's going to be guaranteed keeping on the edge of your seat the entire film. Now, this movie's also stop motion, which is amazing because people don't know this, it takes about one week to film one to two minutes of film. It's Crazy. absolutely insane. They had over 79 sets that they created just for this movie alone and over 20,000 props they meticulously handcrafted just for this film. And all the characters had about 1.4 million facial expressions combined. Crazy. Right though? Get your fix before the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is the movie to see before the holiday season. Communities are being bullied just like we are. What they need is cash. Yeah, they kiss them up. Next up we have Pride. A little indie film that's been sweeping the festival circuit that proves to you that even though you come from different places, we all share the same dreams and the same goals. Yeah, this movie's about a group of gays that help a group of minors uh, that are on strike. They both see the same injustices in their world and they decide they want to help each other, but what actually happens when somebody doesn't want the help that you're willing to offer? That's where the real climax and the plot of this movie comes from. I love movies like this because they always end up being friends at the end. Like, you kind of know this is going to happen. Like, the minors hate the, hate the gays, the gays are annoyed by the minors, and again, we all love each other. Exactly. And what's the most interesting part of this entire trailer or this entire film is that it's based off of a true story. It's based off this little nugget of history that we've glossed over, and I love when filmmakers can pick through those thick textbooks and really find the moments that history forgot and bring them to the forefront. This is definitely a movie I want to sit down with and really watch. Exactly. Yeah. What's the name again, mate? Jimi Hendrix. Next is Jimmy All Is By My Side, starring Andre Benjamin. This movie is the biography of Jimi Hendrix, the famous singer-songwriter. Now, we already know that he looks great. I mean, this is one of the most highly anticipated biopics. I've been seeing press pics for it for a year now in anticipation. Yeah, Andre Benjamin looks just like Jimi Hendrix, but can he deliver it when it comes to the acting? I don't know. You know one thing's for sure, though. The performances are going to be spot on. When he hits that stage, it's going to be all over. He looks like him. I think he's going to sound like him. That's really where he's going to shine in this film. Yeah, but can he deliver when it comes to the acting? I want to see this. the first movie Andre Benjamin has ever had a starring role in. I'm excited. Yeah, and there's a little fact about is that he always chose the jewelry specific for the scene when he got into character. So he would lay out a nice table and he could pick his rings, his necklaces. So I'm super excited about that. The music's gonna be on point. The accessories are gonna be on point. His hair is looking great. I am so excited to see this movie. The kitchen is my domain. That was our deal. The deal is now changed. Either you stay or you go. So out now, guys, on DVD is Chef, the John Favreau starred and directed comedy that swept the indie film circuit. Now, this movie follows the tale of John Favreau, who plays a very high-profile chef working at a five-star restaurant. But somehow, he lost his way and he lost his passion a little bit. So he decides to go back to his roots and start a food truck so he can connect to his passion, his family, and our most delicious traditions, food. The grilled cheese in this movie looks amazing. So why not create a whole date night around it? Get a bottle of wine, order in some food, and watch this film. You will not be disappointed. Also, this movie looks like John Favreau's friends list on Facebook. Exactly. He sent out a group text message. He was like, I'm doing a film. Let's just have a great time. John Liguizamo, Bobby Carnavale is playing his sidekicks. Could not stop laughing throughout the entire film. Plus you have cameos with people like Robert Downey Jr., Dustin Hoffman. Sophia Vergara, Scarlett Johansson, because John Favreau can. John Favreau and friends, get invited to the party. I'm gonna watch this movie. You guys should go rent it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gone until next week. Is there a movie that you're excited to see come out? Why don't you let us know in the comments section below? 
Yeah, and if it's good enough, it might show up in next week's episode. Bye. Bye. Join the conversation.